Hello and welcome to Smith's. I am a wood cutting fanatic who loves to run a chainsaw. I run alcohol chainsaws, ported chainsaws, I race chainsaws, and I even run the occasional video. Now remember, I cannot do this without you. You're everything to the channel, so please remember, subscribe, give that thumbs up, leave that comment. Today, we are going to have a lot of fun. So, how you doing? Hey, today, we're going to run the Husqvarna 55, hopefully, for the last time. This is the one we're setting down for Bodie's contest, and hopefully today's the last test run. So, I got some details for you. We got some issues. We got some fixes. And... Hopefully I can keep the camera still here while I'm still while I'm talking. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's get on with this. All right. So last time we ran this saw, uh, I told you that the cylinder is starting to have some issues and it's going to fail. And I looked deeper into that problem. So it appears as though the plating is starting to come off at the exhaust port. Uh, so. A few things could cause that. Uh, one of them could be the fact that, you know, I might have the exhaust port widened, widened up right at that point to where it just might be trying to hang a ring. Like, it's that rough on it. You know what I mean? Uh, it could be the cheap cylinder. Just, you know, it can't handle it. There's, there's a few different things here. So... After a couple of discussions here, and uh, I, stalked, I talked to the owner of the saw, we decided that after Bodie's event, uh, so basically what's going on here is I'm shipping the saw to TW. TW is driving down for the event, so he's going to take the saw with him, and then after the event, TW is going to head back home with it. Um, I told him if it survives Bodie's event, he's welcome to give it a run, so you, you might be able to see uh tw run this all but then after he's done with it he's going to ship it back to me and then at that point we're going to replace the top end on it uh i have an oem top end here or an oem cylinder which i might try to use the problem is it has aluminum transfer in it and i don't know if it's bad enough that you know the cylinder will be shot or if it's salvageable so I'm going to have to hit it with some acid and try to get that out of there and see how it works. But we are definitely going to get this saw back after the event and work on it some more. So even if it fails, you know, even today or at the event or anything, we, we are planning on working on it some more. Now, also, the last time I ran it, I noticed the coil, uh, at least I'm suspicious, the coil was going bad. Um... A lot of you guys who are familiar with running saws and stuff, you probably heard it. Uh, she has this breakup sound to it. Almost reminds you of uh, four-stroking. But no matter what I did with the tune or anything, it didn't go away. And it's usually a sign of a bad coil. So I pulled that coil out. And I noticed that it was one of the aftermarket coils that you can buy. And the coil I put in it is an OEM coil. So today is actually to see if that coil, you know, replacing that coil fixes the issue and hopefully she returns to full power. Now, I've noticed in the past that when coils are going out, they don't usually just go all at once or not always. They don't always go out all at once. Sometimes you lose a little over time. So there's a chance today that we actually gain more power than what we had before. So, you know what I mean? Because this, this coil is OEM, but it's brand new. So, you know, you never know what could happen. Um, it could end up running the same. It could be, you know, end up running better. Or it could just you know, go right back to the performance level it was running before. So, we'll see what's going to happen. That That's what today is all about. So, we're going to give this all another run today. Um, this is going to be real fast because this saw is going to fail. So what I'm expecting it to do is basically to lose compression and basically lose power because it lost all the compression and basically go until it shuts off. Um, now, I am thinking about once I get it back to actually continu continuing to run it until it fails. 
and then tear into it. But we're gonna see. Um, that's probably the route we're gonna go though. But anyway, I gotta keep today's test run as short as possible if it works out, if this coil works out. I really need to keep it short. So it's literally gonna be run it, tune it, run it, all that stuff, but try to keep the, the, the session real short. So I'll probably just grab a piece of firewood here and go for a couple of cookies and make sure I can get a good tune out of it and give her a run. So yeah, that's all today's about. And as long as everything checks out, we're shipping it out to TW. So yeah, let's see what happens. Cause uh, if something goes bad here today, I might have to continue working on it. So this is going to be the video that tells me what's going to happen. I don't have much time left. I have to have it shipped in the next week, week and a half to, in order to make the deadline. So time's crunching now. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Alrighty, so I stopped right there. Um, I couldn't get to, I couldn't even get to, through two cookies. <sighs> I've lost over a thousand RPM since this started having issues in, we'll say, about a half a tank of gas. The coil did not correct the problem. <sighs> so. It's actually running pretty horrible right now. I'm gonna think about this, but I might do a second part to this cutting. So I'm gonna think about this a little bit. I might do a second part to this cutting. I'm gonna double check the timing and make sure the flywheel didn't uh, move on me. But I think the saw is on its way out and I, I, I'm struggling to keep it above 11,000 RPM. It's actually, it, it's probably running closer to 10.9 right now. I had this thing at 12.2, one cutting session, and then from there, it just kind of went downhill. So yeah, I'm 1,200 RPM less than what I was just a half a tank of gas ago. 
So, yeah, at least you guys got to see it running really well. Uh, we're going to have to throw another top end on it. It's obvious. Um, it's getting a lot of scoring in it because of the plating that's coming off. And every time I fire it up, it just gets worse significantly. Um, two to 300 RPM loss every time I fire it up. So, yeah, it's, it's getting rough. But I'm going to double check the timing and... I don't think it moved, but we'll see. Alrighty. All right. Just, just to be certain, I decided to go ahead and change the spark plug. Sometimes when the coil goes, it takes the plug with it. So we put a fresh plug in it. Let's see if this makes a difference. I'm crossing my fingers here. Alrighty. <laughs> wasn't a spark plug i'd say we're right on the edge of blowing us off i've lost so much so much power just over this last little period of time so either i figure out a way to get a new top end on this in a hurry or we send it like this so i don't know what's going to happen here you're gonna have to wait and see all right, so I'm in the shop here and I decided I'm gonna to try to throw another top end on this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get the machine work done and everything. The, 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 the cylinder I have here in the piston, uh, they're, they're not in the best of shape, but I have them here and I think that they will perform better than what I have now. You know what I mean? So. I'm gonna see what I can do, and I'll keep you updated. Alrighty. Trying to show you here. So the damage is worse than I thought. Uh, can you see where the, the scoring actually is down into the aluminum now? Here is the piston, what she's looking like. So, yeah. She still had compression too, that's a surprising thing. Hey, I said we were gonna push it, right? We did. So we're going to get started right now. I want to start working on the next cylinder right now. So yeah, let's see what happens. Well, I just got to looking a little closer and that cylinder is not going to work. It's shot. There's one big score and it's down to aluminum all the way to the top. So yeah, I don't think it would do much better to put the, the effort into that, that top end. So I'm going to order a top end, and we'll see. We'll see if I can get her back up and running in time. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens. This is going to be down a little wire. Okay. 